Hi everyone, I'm Slava and I'm really excited to be here with you today. I wish we could all be in person to meet one another and talk all things design and product. Today I'm going to speak to you about product growth and how to turn newly signed up users into returning customers by simply improving product onboarding and user experience. We have quite a bit to cover today, so let's get started. A little bit about me. Uh, I'm a senior product designer, growth at Safety Culture. And as a growth designer, my job is to design experiments to connect our users to product value, as well as uncover more opportunities to improve our products. I come from an accounting background where I spent almost a decade working for a few large and small enterprise companies before I transitioned into product design. I started my design journey in designing and validating product MVPs and then moved into product growth where I've been focusing on user onboarding. Before I begin, let me give you a quick overview about Safety Culture and its product I auditor. At Safety Culture, our mission is to empower users to have a safe and efficient workplace all around the world. We have offices located in Kansas City, Manchester, Manila, Sydney, and Townsville to make sure our customers can easily get in touch with us anywhere and anytime. My auditor is a mobile and web application that helps users to build their checklists, conduct safety inspections, action issues, and then create reports. The app is available in five languages, including English. Today, I'll walk you through iAuditor case study, and we will take a look at the current first time experience on web app, talk how data and research help us understand our users, finding the right approach, as well as learnings and challenges. And to make it as practical as possible, I will show you a few work examples, which hopefully can give you some actionable insights and offer a better understanding about my team, our process, and how are we different to other teams. So let me introduce you the onboarding team. We are a bunch of cool nerds passionate about product and user experience. And we are on a mission to increase victory retention by simply helping new users experience iOrders value in their first session. Before we deep dive into the case study, I want us to start from a simple but very important question. What is user onboarding? It's the process that takes people from perceiving, experiencing, and adopting the product value to improve their lives. Now we know what is user onboarding, and the first step is to learn how do people perceive us. I want to start from this quote. Testing with one user is 100% better than testing with none. This might sound very obvious, but not many companies start from testing. Even though there is no better way to find out why and how people use the product and what they expect and experience during their first session. So we did a few usability sessions and what did we see? Well, majority of our users sign up on our website and to get started, we ask their email, name, surname and create password. And once done, they land on the dashboard. The dashboard is quite empty since you just created an account, but you can go to templates to create your first checklist and then start an inspection, create actions, and so on. But unfortunately, it wasn't 100% clear to our users what they should focus their energy on when they land in the app. And it was quite disappointing to see that. But the good news, it gave us a really good understanding on where to start. So we decided to step back and look at the user journey from the very beginning to see how can we make the experience more seamless. And the first step is moment of value perception. When user lands on our website and can understand how this product can help them. From this point, we are looking at moment of value experience. I have tried the product out and it's useful. That's where we need to focus on to show our users product in action, which gives them a confidence and motivation to continue their journey with us. But how do we motivate and give them the confidence? That's what we need to do research. Most of you already know what is research, but 
Let's quickly summarize the purpose of user research and why is it an important piece in the design process? For me, research help us understand the needs and goals of our users, their tasks and context of use. So we started reaching out to users to schedule one-on-one -on -one interviews. And we wanted to speak to new users, people who just sign up, shoppers, people who are evaluating our product, active customers, people who are regularly using our product, and of course, inactive users, people who stopped using our product. And I have to admit that this particular audience is the most challenging to get in touch with. From there, we wanted to learn who are we designing for, what motivated them to sign up, and what do they expect to see. And here is what we kept hearing. It's all about getting the right checklist and starting the first inspection, creating beautiful reports and going 100% digital. We also partner and collaborate with product marketing, sales, customer success teams to get an additional layer of user insights. And really that helps us to connect the dots. Especially sales and customer success teams they talk to new and potential users every single day, and they can share a lot of interesting learnings about user aha moments. I like to use an example of someone going to a coffee shop to explain the difference between internal and external research. So let's imagine we want to find out why people go to coffee shops. So the first step is ask them and that's where your that's your one-on-one -on -one user interviews and we can get answers like i go to a coffee shop every morning on my way to work because i can't start my day without a cup of coffee or i go to my local coffee shop to grab a cup of coffee after my morning run and that's awesome but if you ask a barista who makes a coffee for that person you will get a different perspective you will learn that that person drinks extra hot black coffee with no sugar and likes to hang out with the locals who pop into the coffee shop with their furry friends while drinking the coffee. Those are invaluable details that are impossible to uncover through a single research method. So collaborating with customer facing teams help us to see the bigger picture. We spoke about user interviews and cross-functional team collaboration. But what else? Here is a really good quote from prominent statistician William Deming. Without data, you are just another person with an opinion. And I couldn't agree more. So we started looking how other companies measure their product onboarding success. And saw that at Slack, when a team sends 2000 messages, they are 93% more likely to stick around. And at Pinterest, when the user saves weekly for four weeks after sign up. When we deep dive into our user journey, we saw that when a user conducts three inspections, they are more likely to retain. Then we saw that 53% of users sign up on web and majority of them are managers and business owners looking for a digital solution to go paperless and have everything in one place. And what do they expect? A lot of feedback was around time and learning curve, but the best way to summarize it is simplicity. The product that doesn't make them think too much and is easy to use, especially for managers who wanted to set everything up as quickly as possible and introduce this tool to their gym without spending hours and hours on training. Let's do a quick recap. We ran usability tests, spoke with users, got insights from customer facing teams, uncovered some patterns through data, all that help us learn about our user needs and their problems. Now that we have covered all this, it's time for us to dig deeper and look at which problems do we want to prioritize. Finding the right approach sounds straightforward, but where do we start? As a team, we get together to brainstorm how to address user needs by simply turning them into team goals. Let me give you an example. To show users how this product can improve their current workflow, 
we have to create tailored user experience for each customer that helps them achieve their specific jobs. Once we have a clear team goal, it's time for a sketch session. And what is the sketch session? It's a quick and fun way to generate as many as possible ideas for small improvements that are just enough to learn and iterate. This is an example of our sketch session where we use pen and paper to sketch out ideas and then we share with each other by explaining what's going on in them. Then I collect all those sketches and include parts of them into wireframes, which are then tested with users to see if there is anything that needs refining. This is also a great way to get to know your team and their creative side. As we all know, there is a designer in everyone. Now that we have covered problems and finding the right approach, let's talk about the best ways to get started to improving user experience. Let's talk about experimentation and what is it all about? So experimentation is about quantifying how people respond to a change in a design. It could be as simple as changing an icon or as big as redesigning checkout process. The intent is to find out quickly which design works and why. So let's take a look at some iOrders examples. First one, basic suggested templates. Getting started by choosing an inspection template. This experiment should help new users get some inspiration and start an inspection. And here's what we saw. Percentage of people that create a template increased by 5%. However, it did not have any effect on people starting and conducting an inspection, and it did not make any impact on retention. So the result was inconclusive. But it gave us some ideas on what we want to try next. So we started looking how can we help users to start an inspection, as we saw that 40% of users who got an inspection checklist don't start an inspection. A simple copy change from start to start an inspection, an outline button was released to 50% new users and resulted in 24% of new users starting an inspection. And that's how we got our first win. Next, show the product in action. How do we help users to integrate across multiple platforms and experience the full value. The main goal of this experiment is to let new users know about our mobile platform. And 30% of new signups that complete an inspection on mobile device retain past four weeks. And that's another win. I shared a few experiments we did and some of them worked and some of them didn't. So let's talk about learnings and challenges. As a team, we make sure we get together to celebrate the wins and go through experiments that didn't work as expected. We start from work, work well, and how can we make it even better through simple iteration? And we spend quite a bit of time analyzing what didn't work and what are the key findings, as those learnings help us understand our users and guide our next steps. I spoke a lot about experimentation and how we validate our ideas through A-B tests, but not everything has to be an experiment. There are some user experiences that can be improved and implemented immediately. Let me show you an example. Centralized Help Center. The goal is to help new users find advice and build their confidence. There were a few guidance and support options available in our auditor. However, the experience was very disjoint. So our users were not able to find all the resources and learn independently. So we built a centralized help center to offer them an easy access to customer support, demo sessions, as well as webinars to give them instant guidance and personalized answers. Next one is tailored user onboarding. Offer first-time product experience that helps them achieve their specific job in just a few minutes. 
So let's take a look what happens behind the scene. Well, in order to offer a tailored experience, we need to learn about user job function to see what's their main focus. And then industry. Once we get all that information, we will be able to tailor their first time experience by offering a clear starting point in each area of their interest. Now, let me show you a new user experience. We are on the Safety Culture website, and once users learn how this product can help them, the next step for them is to get started. To create an account, we ask you to provide your email, full name, and create password. Once done, we will welcome you to iAuditor, where we will ask a little bit more about you so we can personalize your experience, your company name, and then your job function. The last step is to pick the industry that best describes your business. And once setup is done, you will land on a templates page. Instead of empty state, we offer a quick start that has three options to create a checklist. And since we got your job, job function and industry, an account will be prefilled with two samples ready to use to start an inspection that gives new users an option to try out the product immediately. They can experience on web or mobile device to see how it works when they are on the site. By simply entering phone number to get an SMS and download the link to the app or scan QR code. So we went through a few ways that remove friction and help users try the product and see its value. It's time for a quick recap. Step one, users understand how this product can help them. That's your Google ads, Facebook ads, and of course your website. Step two, try their product and see its value. It's all about creating that momentum that leads users to aha moment. Step three, it's our next focus. Assist users adapt the product into their everyday workflow so they can invite and start collaborating with their team. Onboarding is a continual process of guiding users towards success with your product. I want to thank you for your precious virtual time today and I hope you have found this useful and inspiring for your own worlds. I love mentoring and connecting within the global design community. So please feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn if you would like to talk more about today's topic or anything design related.